and welcome to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about the Crescent Hotel, which is my favorite place on earth. So, yes, the Crescent Hotel is supposedly the most haunted hotel in America, and I believe it because I have had some pretty crazy experiences at the Crescent Hotel. Um, <clears throat> so let's dive in and talk about some of the Crescent Hotel history and the Crescent Hotel's hauntings and some of the experiences that I've had as well. So first of all, let's talk about the history of the Crescent Hotel and when it was founded and some of the deaths that occurred there as well. So first of all, the Crescent Hotel was built in 1886 and the purpose was for the rich and the famous. It was built as a luxury resort, but it couldn't be maintained because it was too expensive and it was built for $294,000, which is crazy to me, uh, because you can now buy houses for that much, like nice houses for that much. So the Crescent Hotel has always had pets, pet cats, um, the first one being Morris the Cat, who lived to be over 200, not 200, 20 years old. I'd be crazy if he lived over 20, 200 years old. I believe he was 21 when he passed away. And when he passed away, over 300 people came to his ceremony, which is like the sweetest thing I've ever heard. Uh, Jasper and Casper are the most recent cats that they've had. Although Jasper disappeared, we don't know what happened to him. We don't know if somebody stole him or if he just wandered away because it said that cats like sometimes like they go away and um like we don't know if it's because they don't want their owners to be sad when they want to pass away or if they just wander away like just to do it and then they get lost or what happens, but hopefully somebody didn't just do it to be a dick and, like, steal him, but that would be really rude if somebody did that. Anyway, it reopened in 1908 as the Crescent College and Conservatory for Young Women, and then closed again in 1924. Uh, in 1930, it opened as a junior college and then closed again in 1934 but it was used as a summer hotel um, in 1937 it was purchased by Norman Baker and he turned it into a health resort claiming to have a cure for cancer and experimented on real cancer patients Baker was claiming that he, the spring water in the area of Eureka Springs was cure or was the key to the cure for cancer, as well as other strange practices. And he used other experiments, including acids, crushed up walnuts, and strange, and strange injections. Baker would spend four years in prison after he would, was charged with mail fraud in 1940, which left the Crescent Hotel unowned. For six years and then in 1946 the Crescent was purchased by John Constantine Herbert Shutter and Dwight Nichols and then after that March 15th 1967 there was a fire at the Crescent Hotel that almost burned the Crescent Hotel completely and then Dwight Nichols was the sole survivor so that's crazy to me that it almost completely burned out 1997, Marty and his wife, Elise Roenig, I'm not sure how to pronounce that last name, 
bought the Crescent Hotel for $1.3 million and restored the Crescent Hotel for what it is today. But unfortunately, Marty passed away in a fatal car accident. Rest in peace, Marty. Um, Elise is doing a great job with the Crescent. Uh, let's send our regards to Elise for her husband. Uh, the Crescent Hotel in 2007 was featured on Ghost Hunters. And the famous thermal imaging camera captured the man in the morgue. It was also featured on Paranormal Witness in 2016, and in 2019, Ghost Adventures, Ghost Adventures did an episode around the hotel. Um, and in 2016, the Go Hotel was registered as a historic place on the National Register of Historic Places. Um, there have been three known deaths at the Crescent Hotel. Um, a suicide of a woman named Theodora, a construction worker named Michael, and in 2017, a man named William fell from the bar. Um, there's not a whole lot known about these deaths. Um... I think Michael fell from the top floor as he was doing construction. Not a lot is known about the suicide. And William apparently walked out of the bar and he just fell from what I read. So that's weird. Not sure what happened. Then on the historic website of the Crescent Hotel, I was able to find something fun. A muffin recipe that I will share here. Let me get it ready here. Um, it's apparently famous muffin recipe. Uh, huckleberry muffins. I guess it's like served at breakfast time or at dinner time. Um, it's one cup huckleberries, two cups flour, third cup shortening, four teaspoons baking powder, one cup milk, one egg, and then you wash and drain the huckleberries and sprinkle with half teaspoon flour. Sift and dry ingredients and cut and shortening. To this, add milk and beaten egg. Serve flowered berries in quickly. Don't mash them. Bake in hot greased muffin pans for 20 minutes in a moderate oven. Blueberries can be substituted. Pop a batch in the oven and for Sunday morning breakfast surprise. So I thought that was pretty fun. I thought it would share with you guys. Um... <clears throat> I think I remember seeing these in the breakfast selection. They have pancakes, they have um, eggs, bacon, sausage, biscuits and gravy. They have grits if you're into that sort of thing. They have a huge continental breakfast whenever I had breakfast there. They even have these like fancy waters. That you can, um, that you can get, like, in these glass bottles with, like, a foggy glass. I don't know what you call that. But, um, you can buy the water bottles, um, if you want to take it and have it as a souvenir. Which I thought was, like, really cool. It's, like, super fancy and, like, pretty. And I just thought that was, like, super neat. Uh, and they have, like, a blue glass as well. And it also has water in it. I don't know if there's a difference. I don't know if one is carbonated and one is not. I know one has to be spring water from Eureka Springs because the water is, like, 
mineral water there, and it's famous. Eureka Springs is famous for the mineral water, and um, Norman Baker also like used the mineral water in his cure. Um, but Norman Baker was a quack, and he was unlicensed. He did not have a license when he was practicing for his cure for cancer. Um, he was totally weird, and I don't know how he got away with any of this stuff, and only went to prison for mail fraud. How does that happen? I just don't understand. Like, what the heck? Okay, so here is, this is a terrible picture, but here's a picture from the Crescent Hotel. This is outside with the thing, the Crescent Hotel statue thing. It's the Crescent Hotel, like, entrance. Here's the fireplace in the lobby. This is an organ in the lobby. Here's a picture of our room. The beds were very nicely made. They got pamphlets on the bed. Here's the cat. This is Casper, who was helping us to our room. He was helping us with our bags. He was waiting in the parking lot for us to get our shit together. And this is the TV and sitting area in our room. This is the staircase that was really pretty with all the paintings. This is just up the way. This is um, the area like the hall area near where the ghost of the nurse with the gurney is said to be heard. Um, you can apparently hear her pushing it through this hallway. Um, here's the cat again in the chair. He's really, really cute and photogenic. This is the statue of Michael with the crescent moon. He's in the lobby. This is the chapel doors, which I thought looked really cool and creepy. And this is like the weird experiment chair. Apparently he would uh, put the patients in this chair, cut off the top of the brain, or I mean the skull, and put a mixture of sugar water, crushed walnuts, possibly some acid, and some other stuff. Like, I don't know what the sugar water would do, but yeah, then he would put the skull cap back on, and apparently that would cure cancer, at least in his eyes. Then, I don't know what language this is in. If you know, put it in the comments. This is a reflection of the light. Um, but this is like the anatomy in whatever language this is in. And these are like the weird tools he would use. I... I don't know what kind of tools those are. Where the sick folk get well, nearly 2,000 feet above sea level, atop the Ozarks, this is Norman Baker. Dr. Baker's Extraordinary Bistro and Sky Bar. They make delicious pizzas there. This is the faculty lounge over there. Over here is where I saw my first full-bodied apparition, he was like full dress, like Victorian era type attire. He was wearing like rounded glasses and a suit. It was really cool. He was amazing looking. I was ecstatic. 
This is like the spiral type staircase. All the halls look like this with red walls and black uh, trim. This is the dining hall. These are those bottles I was talking about with the glass that I can't think of what it's called. That's the chandelier. It's my mom and my friend. That's the chapel. And that's the vines covering the window. I thought it was so pretty, so I took a picture. And the pool. And this is right by the pool. This is um, Morris's headstone. It says May 1973 to October 1994. But I don't think it's showing in the video, so I just thought I would tell you. And then this is right next to the pool on the other side. And this is a beautiful pond, so I thought I would show you. And here's another picture of a pond. I just wanted to, like, show as many beautiful pictures as I could because it's gorgeous there. And this is a pathway right next to the pond. I thought this was a funny picture because... I didn't stay in this room, but I stayed in it later on when my friend got married in like 2018. But I stayed in this room in 2018, but this was like 2008 when I took this picture. But this is the room, and it's my favorite room. And that's, it's just ironic that I took this picture in 2008 when I didn't stay there until 2018. This is the picture for the salon. I've never been to the salon. I've heard it's amazing, but, and I'd love to go to the salon, but, yeah. Maybe someday. A uh, fire escape, I guess. I think that room is here. I'm not sure. It might be a different room. But yeah, here's more vines, though. I, I wanted to take pictures of the vines. This is the front, which used to be the back, but it's the front now. And there's a picture of that statue in the front. This is the Basin Park Hotel, which is the sister hotel to the Crescent. Um, I've stayed there as well, which had a huge hot tub in the room. It was amazing, but it's just not my favorite now that I've stayed at the Crescent Hotel. It's just not the same. I have so many memories with the Crescent Hotel that I just can't compare to the Basin Park Hotel. And the restaurant isn't as good, but it's still a great hotel. It's just, it's just not the same comparatively as the Crescent Hotel, and it's beautiful to look at. This was built in like the 30s. Crescent Hotel was built in like the 1800s, of course. So, like, historically, it's not... It's not as, like, historically relevant to me as the Crescent. But it's totally, like, it's a really neat building to look at. Okay, so here is a picture that I got from the Crescent Hotel website. Credit goes there of the girls from the girl, girls college. And um, these are the girls. And then this is from the historic um, hotels.org website of the morgue. Of the Crescent Hotel, I wanted to be able to show it. And I've been in the morgue on the tour. And then this comes from KH 
BS TV News, I believe. I don't know what Mr. Sparky is. Anyway, um, it's some of the specimen jars that they found on the dig sites that they've had recently. And it looks pretty gnarly. And it says 4029. Oh, 4029 ABC News. Alright, so here we are at a picture of Morris the Cat. This comes from RoadTrippers.com. And it is a very handsome picture of Morris. Look how handsome he is. What a beautiful cat. Alright, and here we have a picture of the Crescent Hotel. This is from the Wikipedia page on the Crescent Hotel. And this is a beautiful picture of the Crescent. I mean, look at it. This is what it looked like years and years ago. I think in 1886. I'm not sure what year, but I'm guessing 1886. So, yeah. And it largely still looks the same. I think the owners live up in, like, one of these, like, loft areas that are up here or here. I'm not sure. This photo was taken by me. I have this photo taken from the Crescent Hotel when I stayed in, I believe, 2008 with my mom and my friend. And it looks as though there is a woman in motion towards the ground. I believe it to be Theodora, the woman who went falling from the top floor of the hotel. This is in the back where some one, Theodora, went jumping from the window. And in my opinion, it looks like someone a woman going like down. The figure is that shape. I don't know if you can see that, but that's what it looks like to me. Like this very much looks like the face of a woman. It's got that shape. I don't know. What do you think? What does it look like to you? It just looks very ghostly. This wasn't here in real life when I took the photo. And there's also some like smudginess here that wasn't there when I took the photo. But yeah, this is weird to me. Next, we have this. So. As you can see, there's a square here, and I took this photo um, and at the time, I did not see anything when I took the photo. There was nobody over there. It was like 10 o'clock at night. The room over here was the dining room, and it was closed. Nobody was allowed in there. It was locked up. Um, there was no dinner being held. Nothing was going on in that room. And it wasn't until later that night that I analyzed the photos that I noticed that something was here. So I'll go to this where you can see that there's 
a man sitting here. It looks like he's even wearing like a doctor's coat. You can see two eyes, hair, everything on it. We can even go back here. He's just sitting there. He's looking directly at me. Like, I was freaked out. I was stunned, shocked, whatever you want to say. But I was also excited because I was like, I was like, did I really catch that? Like, what do you see? Like, do you see what I see? Because this was like my most exciting piece of evidence that I had ever caught thus far. Like, I... I was so excited. So, like, and this was on photo evidence. Anyway, so those are my experiences. Um, these are the photos that I have from the Crescent Hotel. And um, unfortunately, I don't have any EVPs. We tried to do some EVPs, but we didn't catch any. Um, but this is what I have. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like these kinds of videos, let me know and I'll do some more. I'm going to make another video on a cemetery from my hometown, and I hope you'll be around to watch it. If you do want to watch it, then like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified when it comes out, and I'll see you in the next video.